So every character class within Diablo 4 has certain enemy types which have increased drop chances of dropping their specific uniques. Today we check them out for the Barbarian, what uniques they have, the enemies which have increased drop chances and in my opinion the best dungeons you should be farming for specific pieces. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So when it comes to farming these specific dungeons to try and get those uniques to drop, any dungeon is theoretically fine. In fact, any instance of where these enemies can be will be fine. But obviously, if you can roll a nightmare dungeon with that magic fine modifier on, that's definitely the better way due to it dropping more loot for you. Also, if you're looking for any specific loot or any specific item for your specific class, not being a barbarian, videos will be linked down below. We also have to keep in mind that amulets and rings, jewelry in this game doesn't have at the moment any increased drop chances from any specific enemy type. So the battle trance for the barbarian at the moment doesn't have a specific enemy type which will give you increased drop chances. Okay so we're going to start with the 100,000 steps. This has an increased drop chance from that drowned enowned type. So dungeons with that drowned enemy type, I'd recommend the Haunted Refuge, the Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier and the Vault of the Forsaken. These are four great dungeons that you should be farming if this is a specific item you're looking for. Next up guys, we have the Hellhammer. Again guys, drowned enemy type. Dungeons, Haunted Refuge, Dead Man's Dredge, Putrid Aquifier and the Vault of the Forsaken. Great dungeons which will increase your drop chances no doubt. Next up guys we have the overkill, again guys drowned enemy types, so haunted refuge again, dead man's dredge, putrid aquifier and the vault of the forsaken, these dungeons will give you increased drop chances due to the amount of drowned enemies within these, so if you're after any three of these items guys, these are the dungeons you want to be farming because they give you increased chances of all three, so that's absolutely great. Next up guys we have the Ancient's Oath. This has increased drop chances from Goatman and Cannibals. So Goatman dungeons I recommend, we have the Champion's Demise, a great great dungeon, Mercy's Reach, the Shift to Ruins and the Hoarfrost Demise. Four dungeons here guys that will definitely increase your chances. Cannibal dungeons, we have the Gulron Slums, the Earthen Wound and the Carnal House. Three great dungeons, I'm not going to lie, but if I was going to farm for this, I'd definitely go with the Champion's Demise. But you have to be lucky enough to have that Nightmare Sigil for it. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Fields of Crimson. This has increased drop chances from Vampires and Spiders. So dungeons which feature those Vampires, we have Zenith, Core Dragon Barracks and the Heathen's Keep. These are three decent dungeons for this vampire enemy type, but if I was going to farm for this, I'd definitely go with spiders. So we have the blind burrows, the Gurun canals, the whispering pines, and the champion's demise. All four of these dungeons are amazing for that spider enemy type, so if you can roll that magic find modifier on any one of these dungeons, that would be perfect for you. Okay, so next up guys, we have Gore's Devastating Grips. This has an increased drop chance from those spider enemies. Spider dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Gurun Canals, the Whispering Pines, and the Champions Four incredible Demise. dungeons for that enemy type. Next up people, we have the Rage of Haragoth. This has increased drop chances from those beast enemy types. So here guys, you want to stick to the Blind Burrows, Alderwood, Moorwood, Aldous Cave or the Haunted Refuge. We have five great dungeons there. Blind Bowls would be my main pick, but any of these will be perfectly fine to farm. Next up guys, we have the Ramaladni's Magnum Opus. This has increased drop chances from those skeleton enemies. So dungeons here I'd recommend, we have Demon's Wake, Zenith, Core Dragon's Barracks and the Forgotten Ruins. My main pick here would be Demon's Wake, but any one of these would be perfectly fine. Again, if you can roll that magic fine modifier on any of these with a nightmare dungeon, that definitely ups your chances. Well, there we have it, guys. Those are the uniques that drop on a barbarian character class and where you have up chances of farming said items. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Add if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.